My name is Kekula Bray, and Danya leaves off with injustice. That our people, that my people, my brothers and sisters, have to come before you tonight or any court to explain who they are and why they are is an injustice. It's inhumane. It shouldn't be happening, period. Um, but I'm not going to talk about that. I want to talk about um, my ancestors. I had a vision the other night, and I woke up from my sleep because the telephone rang in the other room at four something in the morning, and the sudden sound of it made me open my eyes. And sitting at my feet was one of my ancestors. He was so big, eight feet plus. His beauty, he was magnificent. And he was checking my dreams and inspecting my heart. This is my claim on genocide. We don't have this type of people anymore. I don't see Kanaka Maoli that look like the ancestor that watches my dreams. And I know that that was our ancestors because he was sitting at my feet. I don't have documented proof or from an oral tradition. And that I say so means that that's what it is because I speak for my ancestors, a much higher power than man, and Akua. And so, that's it. Uh, the other thing is that I had another ancestor who passed away in 1968, David Kaonohio Kala Bray. And this man could change wind, direct wind, could rise fire with chant, could heal with a call and a touch, with prayer and faith. I don't see this type anymore either. I don't see anybody go to the sleeping craters and ask Pele to shoot out and answer. But I can tell you these things because I witnessed these things as a young girl. And this is my oral tradition, and I expect it to be respected. That's it. Mahalo. Mahalo. The people of Maui show so much ikaika, so much strength, so much mana, special kind of energy that we are overwhelmed. Beginning just a month ago, your tribunal planning committee put together tremendous effort to make this possible. And we'd like to ask Kekula Bray and Kyoki Kiili and all of you in Hana to stand up with us because we would like to applaud you and thank you so much. Please stand up. Ekukako. And it has been so, it has been so now moving <laughs> to hear from all the broad range from our kupuna down to our opio, speaking about the eha, the pain that you suffer from so many years of dispossession, deprivation, that is, taking from you, and yet you continue to survive and continue to resist and refuse to give up. And that's great inspiration to all of you. 